everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we're going to talk about compression for guitars, and specifically one compressor that works really well on guitars, both electric and acoustic, and that is the Teletronics LA3A. The plugin I have on the screen right now is the Universal Audio version of it, which is of course tied to their hardware, and if you're not into that system, we'll also take a look at the Waves CLA3A, both again based on that same LA3A unit. We'll start with the Universal Audio version first. So if you're not familiar with the LA3A, it's been around for a while. It first debuted in 1969, and it's basically a solid state version of the LA2A, which is a more famous compressor, optical compressor used on vocals, used on bass, used on a lot of different sources, known for its tube warmth. But this is a solid state version of that, which means that it's kind of the same as an LA2A for smaller transients, but for larger transients, it's a faster compressor. It works a little faster than the LA2A does. It also tends to bring out the mid and lower mid-range frequencies in the source signal, which makes it an excellent compressor for guitar because that's kind of the frequency content you want to emphasize in guitars, those mids and lower mids. That's where they live. Another thing that makes the LA3A great, it's a really simple compressor to use, basically two knobs. You've got your peak reduction on this side, which controls the amount of compression and your makeup gain on this side. You can also switch between compression and limiting. And some of the plugins have some goodies like a mix knob here for parallel compression and this high frequency content knob here, which we'll just leave alone, set it totally flat for now. So we're gonna to listen to it on acoustic guitar first. I'm gonna bypass the plugin and I want you to really listen for the transients in the acoustic guitar. Here it is. So you can really hear some of those transients pop out a little bit more than others. And if you wanted to rein them in, if you wanted to control them, this is a great option. I'm gonna engage the plugin. I already set it up, so I'm getting just a few dB of gain reduction on those transients. And I try to level match the gain. So here is the acoustic guitar part compressed with the LA3A. And you might be saying to yourself after hearing that, it doesn't sound that different. And that's exactly what we want with acoustic guitar. We don't want it to sound completely different. It's not like we're trying to do a parallel drum crush or something like that. All we're trying to do here is nab those couple of transients that are popping through when the guitar is strummed a little bit harder. There's also a little bit of mid-range density that happens. So if you listen really closely to that, we'll hear some thickness kind of in the guitar that happens. Listen close as I bypass it on and off as it plays. Now we could actually reduce the peak reduction and see if we can dial it in so the needle's only moving on those big transients. And that's just barely getting any compression there. Or we could really dial in heavy compression, which is going to sound really thick. One of the nice things about this compressor is that you can push it pretty hard without totally destroying the signal. I'll bypass this heavy compression on and off. So that's definitely too much for my tastes, but you get the idea. You can really kind of slam it hard and not totally destroy the signal. Let's try that same thing, but with the Waves CLA-3A. So just looking for a little bit of compression here. I noticed that this plugin doesn't quite saturate or emphasize those mids or lower mids as much as the UAD version does, but that might be better for acoustic guitar. Let's bypass it on and off. It, 
it really does even it out nicely. We'll jump back to the UAD version one more time, pull back that compression. Yeah, on this version of the plugin, you might actually have to put an EQ after the compression if you're getting too much of that low mid. Just carve a little bit out, and then you get the compression characteristics you like without overpowering that low mid in the acoustic guitar part. So now we'll take a look at it on an electric guitar part. Now this electric guitar part might not need as much compression as some other guitars because it's got distortion on it, and saturated or distorted signals are generally naturally compressed from that saturation and distortion, so you might not need it, but we'll try it out on here anyway. We're going to change our peak reduction, get the amount of compression we want, and try to match the level. So you're controlling dynamics, you're not really getting a ton of change in character of the tone. You're adding a little bit more low mid weight to it, but that's about it. Let's try the same thing with the CLA Waves version. For fun, let's move to that part again and try to totally slam it. So minimal tonal difference as I'm bypassing the plugin on and off, but a big difference in dynamic control. It'll really bring up the low parts of the guitar part and smush the whole thing down if you wanted to. You can really slam stuff through this one. I'd also encourage you to check it out on vocals too. It's great for slamming vocal parts without having a lot of obvious compression characteristics. So there we have it. The LA-3A on guitar parts, acoustic and electric. Really famous, really classic guitar compressor with some really simple to use controls. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.